Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA. Today, myself and Luke are going to give our breakdown of the opening stages of the Connacht FBD League of 2022, the preseason tournament for the Western Counties. And I mean, it started off, Luke, with a piece of history. Sligo and Leitrim playing the first ever GAA match indoors in the Air Dome at the Connacht GAA Centre of Excellence. I mean, just before we get into the football, what do you make of that yourself? Football now being played indoors. Uh, yeah, well, look, I, I think we're, we're going to get into this now, though. But if you look at the score lines that uh, the, the three games have been played there, the, the score lines have, there's been a huge jump with the amount of, uh, with the deficiency of players as well. And just, I think the lack of uh, difficult conditions this time of year. Uh, I know, obviously, at the moment, it's not ideal, probably with, with COVID and the uh, indoor kind of seating and everything like that as well. But uh, I think going forward, I think it's a great idea that if, if, Games with high quality teams can be played in these in these uh, facilities where, like the the conditions are really really good. There's no kind of wind disruption, rain, everything like that. Flooded pitches and everything with like kind of really soft bounces. I think it can only be good for the game. And I think ultimately we've seen kind of three really good spectacles in the games that have been played up in Connacht so far in the in the ground. Like, yeah, without doubt. And I mean the game itself was played between Sligo and Leitrim, two counties obviously with a good bit of momentum and a good bit of optimism there. Obviously, Andy Moran, you know, that era now Leitrim began. I mean, it began with a defeat, but like they put up one goal and 17 points. Obviously, Emlon Mulligan back in the side as well on the Sligo side of things. I mean, you can't have missed the news that Pat Spillane has chosen to declare for Sligo when he was rumoured to be playing for either Dublin or Kerry. So two sides with a good bit of momentum there to begin their season. And they played out a very entertaining game. But then Sligo went and lost quite heavily to Roscommon. Three goals and 23 points to 21 points. Leitrim beaten by Sligo. So both sides kind of getting a bit of a knock, but still good momentum and good optimism in those counties. Yeah, and even even despite the fact that... Uh... That they got quite a heavy enough beat, and I suppose they're like Sligo. They'll be happy enough to hit. They're not just uh, twenty-one points there indoors. The forward line looks pretty good, and I know maybe that uh, the indoor conditions kind of add to it a little bit. But they they getting scores doesn't seem to be a final. Uh, getting scores doesn't seem to be a problem right just now. So uh, yeah, I think they'll be they'll be happy enough kind of with their uh, with how it's gone. They've been missing a few lads, Sligo too. So. Uh, yeah, I think they, they they won't be too disappointed with uh, with their preseason. I know though that it's going to be Roscommon and Galway that are going to play as the final now. Though. Yeah, and speaking of Galway, obviously they made it to the final by beating the other heavyweight in Connacht Mayo. Galway won by seventeen points to thirteen. James Horan handed out five new debuts. What did you make of Galway and Mayo in this game? There were a lot of Galway under twenty lads that started. Obviously, Sean Fitzgerald was there. How, what did you make of them? What which county were you more impressed by? Uh, well, I I think the the Galway Mayo game probably didn't live up to the bill, and I suppose, and there was a, a lot of people kind of disappointed with it a little bit. I think so. Uh, yeah, I I think the interesting pit to take for for Galway is that. Uh, is the, the involvement of all the young players. And immediately on the team sheet, you look at the first uh, three names, Connor Flaherty, Jack Lynn, Sean Fitzgerald, all part of that team that won the under uh, won the under 20 All Ireland there two years ago. So they, they look to be really happy to uh, to get that talent in as well. And then coming off the bench, Tony Gill, Tom O'Colhan, all from that team as well. So they, they're getting a lot of uh, a lot of that youth into the team. And uh, yeah, I suppose that they, look, there'll be any time they get over the line against Mayo, they'll be uh, they'll be very really happy with that as well. And I think for the final, they can go a little bit stronger. They might start, like the fellas I mentioned there already, Kieran Malloy might come in. And then, of course, Shane Walsh came off the last 15 minutes and kicked two points and looked imperious as well. So I think for the final, I'd expect to see all them kind of maybe in starting. So uh, yeah, based off that, I think that they have a good old chance in the final. But at the same time, I know they were playing Sligo, but Roscommon looked pretty pretty good there too. So they notched a really, really big score. Like anytime you hit 323 is a good time. And look, Connor Cox looks to be in just ridiculous form right now, scoring 11 points, eight from play. So uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a pretty pretty entertaining final, I think. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a hard enough one to call. Yeah, without a doubt. And uh, was there anything else apart from Connor Cox that impressed you about Roscommon? Yeah, it was interesting as well that we were kind of 
maybe looking at who might be the player to break through for a um, uh, young player from Roscommon to, to kind of get into the team. And we were thinking maybe Adam McDermott might get in or Derek Craig might get in. But it turns out it was actually from that team, Carl Hennigan, that's uh, the one that seems to have broken in. He started the game, hit two points, played very well. And uh, yeah, I suppose in that star so the 20 team that nearly won the All-Ireland, he seems to be the one that's going to immediately make it. He's also been apparently playing really well for NUIG and has a great chance to start in the Sigerson Cup. So he looks to be developing to a nice player. Yeah, well, one word. Who are you backing to win the FPD League final, Luke? Galway or Roscommon? Yeah, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Galway to uh, to bring back a few strong players and uh, ultimately get over the line. Yeah, I agree with you. I think if Walsh starts and if Malloy starts, I think you can't look past Galway. But Roscommon look pretty good, and obviously you mentioned there about Heenan. and I think the young lads they could give Roscommon and Connor Cox could just shoot the lights out. So it's anybody's match there. So, guys, that is the play on GAA roundup of week one of the Connacht FBD League. Don't forget to catch our, re- our review of the final between Galway and Roscommon. Don't forget to look at all our other content across the channel as well. Like, subscribe, comment and share. And until the next video, guys, take care.